Can you make dubstep using toilet paper sounds only? Well, I love challenges, so let's give this one a try. Making dubstep music using only toilet paper. So we obviously need toilet paper for this and a microphone. And obviously your music making program, which in my case, it's FL Studio. Pretty much all I'm going to do is record sounds using toilet paper only, and then I'm going to use these sounds to create a dubstep song. Okay, now with the sounds we just recorded, we're ready to make a dubstep song. And don't forget that I'm only allowed to use the sounds made and recorded with the toilet paper. So the drums, the melody, the bass, the hi-hats, everything has to be toilet paper. So in the beginning, I had to analyze every sound and then cut it and render it individually, depending on what sound I like and what sound I wanna use. Oh sh! Holy crap, this one, it's perfect. So after cutting each sound individually and rendering them, after doing that, I started working on the drums. I was pretty impressed because I had some pretty nice kicks made with toilet paper. They actually sounded fine, but obviously in order to make them sound much better, we have to add some effects. So I added OTT, I added Sausage Fattener. We're going to be using a lot of Sausage Fattener in this video. And after doing all the effects, the kicks sounded much better. Keep in mind that I'm trying to keep the sound as original as possible. So even if I'm adding a I'm not going too crazy with them. I want the sound to remain pretty original. Okay, I'm just gonna make it sound just a little bit crispier, but I'm not going to change the sound entirely. I still want it to be like toilet paper, right? So moving on to the snare, I did the same thing, and here's the final result. Now I needed the hi-hats and the open hats basically to fill up the empty space and the drums. I did the same thing, added OTT, added some reverb and they sound like this. And I was pretty much done. Now what I had to do is work on the bass. So what I did at first, I selected the sounds I wanted to use. I played with them and arranged them until I liked how it sound. And then I did some EQing, added OTT, Sausage Fattener. I added a factor to change the vox just to make it sound a little bit more like a bass. And I just increased the low ends just a little bit to give it some bass because I'm not sure how to make sub bass with toilet paper. So I just increased the low ends a little bit of the toilet paper bass. And then I used another toilet growl. I pitched it up a lot and it started sounding like a pluck, like some sort of pluck. Basically you can pitch up any sound and it's going to sound like a pluck. And I made a melody out of that just to fill up the background. It took around 30 minutes and uh, yeah, let's listen to the final product. In my opinion, it sounds a little bit like that step. That was pretty much it guys. Dubstep using toilet paper only. And I'm going to leave it to you to say in the comments if you like it or not or what you think. I challenge you to try and make music using toilet paper, but try to keep the sound of the toilet paper as original as possible. Now, don't forget to subscribe for 69 years of luck. Okay, Kagebushi no Jutsu, the like button if you guys want more videos like this. And if you wanna watch another video like this, you can click here to watch a video in which I made dubstep using fart sounds. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.